Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to do your reading for the next 48 hours. So what do we have going on? Full moon in Aries in opposition to the sun in Libra. So highly emotional time for the self in opposition to wanting feelings of fairness, justice, and balance in your life. So for Leo, you have Venus here, which is the planet of love. It is connecting with the sun in Libra. So I feel like it's a really good time for you guys to partner with others, connect with others, show how you feel, communicate with soulmates. Mercury is in Scorpio. It's a really good time for you guys to make those connections, even if it's just for work. Um, it's a good time to make connections with others and maybe even step outside yourself with the Aries energy here. Step outside the self because Mars is retrograde at a frustrating 90 degree angle to Saturn and Pluto, a need for a game change or the rules are changing. And so this here would mean maybe you can connect with other people on a personal level, on a deeper level. Um, so the sun is what is ruling over the house of Leo and it's in air energy. So it's about the things that we say to people, how we communicate, what are we saying, how are we connecting? How do you form a partnership with another person in a way where it feels balanced and fair and not like a victim, which is Chiron, because Chiron's in opposition to the Sun in Libra. So communicate, talk to people, you know, express your feelings, Mercury and Scorpio. If you feel a deep connection with someone, let them know. Okay, so very good energy. It's a full moon, so it's a time to release the old and put, you know, water under the bridge with some things. So let's see, what are the energies for Leo? And what do they need to see? What does Leo need to see? Next 48, October 1st and 2nd. Caring connections. There you go. So we have caring connections. <laughs> I feel like that could be anything. Friends, co-workers, um, letting people know you care. The thinking woman. Okay, so you could be dealing with an air sign. You could be dealing with someone who's very analytical. Somebody who thinks a lot. They're up in their head a lot. They're, it could be an academic somebody who's spent a lot of time in school reading so let's see what we have here what else do we have for leo the first chakra so this is archangel michael this is the root chakra it's about survival and protection so this energy is around you protecting your relationships Okay, so let's see what's coming in here. Forming caring connections. It's actually almost what I just said. Maybe protecting your relationship. Reaching out to others, letting them know that you care. Okay, so, okay. What do we have here coming in for Leo? Next 48, October 1st and 2nd. What's coming in for Leo? What's coming in for Leo? The lovers, okay. So we have a connection. We have two people, two souls. It's also Archangel Raphael, blessing two people. Bringing two people together. Six, six of coin, earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Somebody's reaching out to you. Their emotions feel so intense that they want to reach out and balance the scales. Could also be something about money here. Somebody paying, um, helping somebody. Could be like just helping because it's the energy of the moon in Virgo, which somebody feels strong emotions to help or be of service to someone else. 
we do have Scorpio energy. So that's about soulmates, strong feelings, strength card, major arcana for Leo, controlling the wild energy within, controlling like self-control, having self-control. All right. So what is in the past? Two energies here. Hangman. Feeling like you're in limbo or feeling like you're spending a lot of time thinking or fantasizing. It's the energy of Neptune. So Pisces energy here, spending a lot of time up in your mind, thinking about something, but not really doing anything about it. We have chariot energy is crowning. So we have here the energy of charging ahead towards a victory, overcoming, overcoming. It can also be the energy of a cancer someone who's cancer, it could be someone very determined to overcome or come towards you. So what do we have here coming in for Leo? Three of Pentacles. So you could be connecting with others at work, friendships, connections, supportive friendships. Wow, so your current energy is two of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is about feelings, expressing how you feel. The other person feels the same. So there is a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy in your environment. Okay, so hope or fear is um, lies or deception or somebody who is a thief. You're afraid of being swindled. I don't think it's that you're hoping to get away with something without someone finding out. Wow, final outcome is Empress, Venus, love, beauty, great abundance. Um, it's symbolic of abundance, fertility. All things are fruitful. It can also be a person that you're dealing with. Somebody who represents love. Okay, so what is the Empress here for Leo? What is the Empress for Leo? Okay, so we have a Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of passion. Someone comes towards someone with a lot of passion. We have an air energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, King, somebody very serious. And then we have a queen of wands, Aries energy here. Somebody confident, passionate, fire sign energy. What do we have for the king of pentacles? Taurus energy, Capricorn or Virgo. It's really Taurus, but... What do we have for King of Pentacles? We have the Knight of Cups. So we have somebody expressing their love. Either you to them or them towards you. It's coming up for the environment, so I'm thinking it would be them towards you. It could be an apology, but it could also be good news. It could also be about money. Three of Pentacles is teamwork. What is going on here with the Three of Pentacles? Supportive connections. Okay, too many cards. Okay, so what is the Three of Pentacles? Would it clarify the Three of Pentacles. Clarify the Three. Okay. Eight of Swords, Three of Wands. Somebody feels trapped or very worried, and so they're kind of waiting for the next ship to come in. Or they're waiting for someone to contact them. Maybe they're waiting for a friend to contact them or reach out to them. Yeah, seven of coins. Somebody is waiting to hear from you or you're waiting to hear from them. What's the strength? Why are we getting strength?
Six of Wands. Popularity, recognition, getting seen by a lot of people. What is the chariot? What is the chariot? What is the chariot? Wow, unexpected. Tower. So somebody comes towards you unexpectedly. Um... What is the Knight of Cups? Some of you could already be in a relationship and so you're sort of telling this person like, hey, I'm already in a relationship. It's some kind of defensive energy and then there's here the energy of marriage or commitments. But there's another offer coming in, Ace of Coin, Four of Swords. Some of you might not be responding Hmm. Well, it could also be that there's somebody here with the thinking woman who is thinking about you. Um, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching and take care.